Hi, it's Sam from Transit Dev. In this video, I want to take you through how to set up our LAN driver for the KEF LS50 Wireless 2 speakers. So once you've got the driver from the website, head over to the configurator, go to media and then zone controllers, right click zone controllers, add new zone controller, and then hit the search folder button. Select the folder you then downloaded the driver to, click OK, and you should see the KEF LS50 Wireless 2 driver appear on the list. Click OK to install. Driver will install. It'll then license itself with our cloud server. And all you need to do is put in the IP address of the KEF device. So wait until licensing's finished. So I know mine's on 3.104. So I'm going to put the IP address in, hit apply. So I'll just take you through the, the driver itself then. So we support all the sources that are possible on the KEF LS50 wireless 2s. Um, some of them you're not really going to be able to use, um, but we do include them in case you do have a use case for them, the likes of Bluetooth. Um, you can turn the units over to Bluetooth. You then have to control the unit with your phone thereafter or your whatever Bluetooth device you're using. Um, but we have completed it. We have included it because it is in the API. So we've got the Wi-Fi interface, which we'll come to in a minute. Uh, Bluetooth, TV, HDMI, which is a HDMI ARC input. Um, so you'd use that with a television or a display with um, ARC enabled on it in the LAN software with the provide audio return. Um, we've got optical, coaxial, analog, zones, and we've got the main zone of the KEF speakers themselves. Um, so let's see what that looks like in viewer then. So we've got our viewer, and we're going to media, and there's our Wi-Fi interface. there we go we can then we have basic transport controls over the actual player so we've got previous pause stop next pause is a toggle um, so it'll play pause for you and then periodic the driver will update and the driver will get metadata we'll just go back into configurator and I'll just quickly show you how this HDMI arc would work in a typical scenario so I'm just going to quickly add in a little test TV. So I'm going to pick Sony from the list. And I'm just going to pick all models, all types. And I'm going to call it Sony test. Um, just to keep the driver happy, I'm going to put an IR port on it. And for the sake of the example, I'm going to set the repeats. But really what we're doing here is we're going to provide audio return from this device. I'm going to click apply. We then go to the zone of our calf. So this scenario here would be you're using the calf's either side of a TV or in a room with a TV, and you've got your HDMI cable linked into the calf um, HDMI arc input on the on the calf's. So we go to the calf zone. We assign the Sony TV to it, and then we also connect the audio return input to the HDMI input. And then any uh, sources that are available on the TV will come through the the calf by the audio return by the arc input on the calf speakers. I would normally advise anybody in any installation scenarios to try and use optical and to try and avoid HDMI arc, try and avoid HDMI CC control. Um, but if you do need to use it, um, the driver is designed to cope with it. That's it. That's the basic setup of our KEF LS50 wireless two speakers. Thanks for watching.